How do you do, Miss Eyre? I'm very well, thank you, Cousin Eliza. I hope you are well. How do you do, Miss Eyre? I trust the journey was tolerable. It was indeed. Thank you, Cousin Georgiana. May I sit down? Oh, do. I hear Mrs. Reed has rallied a little. Oh, Mama, you mean? She is extremely poorly. I doubt if you can see her tonight. If you would just step upstairs and tell her I'm here, I should be much obliged to you. I know she had a particular desire to see me, and I would not wish to keep her waiting. Mama dislikes being disturbed in the evening. I shall just step out to Bessie and ask her to ascertain whether Mrs. Reed is disposed to receive me. Excuse me. Jane Eyre. I am Jane. You sent Bessie for me. I'm very ill. I know. I was trying to turn myself a few minutes since. I cannot move a limb. It is as well. I should ease my mind before I die. But one thinks little of in life. Burdens us at such an hour as this. <laughs> Is there no one in the room but you? We are alone, aren't Well, I have twice done you a wrong, which I regret now. One was in breaking the promise I gave my husband to bring you up as my own child. The other, anyhow, perhaps it is of no great importance. I make it better. Myself to her. It's painful. Well, I must get it off. Eternity is before me. I had better tell you. Behind you is my dressing case. Open it. You will see a letter there. <laughs> Read it. Madam, will you please have the goodness to send me the address of my niece, Jane Eyre? and tell me how she is. It is my intention to write shortly and desire her to come to me at Madeira. Providence has blessed my endeavours to secure a competency and as I am unmarried and childless, I wish to adopt her during my life and bequeath her at my death whatever I may have to leave. I am, madam, yours very faithfully, John Eyre Madeira. Why did I never hear of this? It is dated three years back. Because I disliked you too much ever to help you to prosperity. 
I could not forget your conduct, Jane. When you turned on me in such fury and declared that you abhorred me worse than anybody in the world. You frightened me. Oh, baby, with more. Oh, oh, my case. Oh, oh, oh. Please, think no more of it. Let it pass from your mind. Forgive me, I was a child. It was nine years ago. I tell you, I could not forget it. And I took my revenge. I wrote to your uncle. I said, Jane Eyre was dead. She died of the typhus at Lowood. Now... Act as you please. <laughs> Write and contradict my assertions. Expose my falsehood as soon as you can. You were born to be my torment. My last hour is racked by the memory of a deed which but for you I should never have been tempted to commit. You could be persuaded to think no more of it, aunt, and to regard me with kindness and forgiveness. You have a very bad disposition. My disposition is not so bad as you think. I am passionate, but not vindictive. Many times as a child I wanted to love you if you'd have let me. Don't bend over me. You have... Love me then, or hate me, as you wish. You have my free and full forgiveness. Ask now for God's and be at peace. Bessie! Bessie, she's in a stupor! constitution she could have lived to a good old age her life was shortened by trouble 